Ford has finally released the Mustang locally and it's powered by a 2.3 litre four-cylinder EcoBoost engine. The efficient turbocharged motor generates 233 kilowatts, 432 newton metres and uses as little as 9 litres per 100 kilometres on the combined cycle. Is that enough? That's okay? Good. Let's stop pretending that anybody cares about a four-cylinder Mustang and concentrate on the one everybody does care about, this one, the 5-litre V8. Originally launched in the States in April 64 as a 1965 model, the Mustang was at the time Ford's most successful launch since the Model A. Performance enthusiasts didn't always take the Mustang seriously. Early on, the Mustang was seen as more of a poser's car than a performance weapon. People like Carroll Shelby changed all that though, and so did a raft of hardcore V8 engine options. Now, the Mustang is as much modern muscle car as it is classical pony car. This Ford Mustang, the first officially available in Australia since the 60s, is the sixth generation of what is now an automotive legend. It's also the first Mustang that's been designed by the factory to be right-hand drive from the outset. This new Mustang was always supposed to be an export superstar for the Ford brand. Retro is cool, but retro isn't easy to nail, yet this Mustang fills the brief perfectly. It's modern but old school, and it needs to be to keep the Mustang faithful happy. Now there's absolutely no doubt whatsoever that this is a great value muscle car. I've spent a bit of time driving the previous generation Mustang in America. This new version, the sixth generation, is actually a proper step forward in refinement. It's a muscle car in every sense of the word, but it's actually quite refined. It's quiet in the cabin, it's comfortable, there's not a lot of road noise, it feels very together and very solid. It's a well-built muscle car. I have to say, I wouldn't admit it publicly, but the EcoBoost four-cylinder is actually a really good engine. I've spent a bit of time in that today, and I'm seriously impressed with how it performs. It uses mid nine litres per 100 kilometres, so it's actually quite efficient as well. It's got plenty of punch and it's got a great exhaust note. Onto the V8, which is actually the reason that everybody's gonna to wanna to buy a Mustang. It's got a great soundtrack, if though not quite loud enough, it might need an exhaust. But it does sound good and intrinsically it's a great motor. It's got plenty of power, heaps of torque, nice and smooth. The automatic gearbox which I've tested today is great. You get slightly bigger brakes on the V8 as well and it actually drives really, really nicely. So whichever type of Mustang you prefer, you're really going to be happy with what you've got. Inside the cabin, it's a solid mix of old school design and modern technology. A classical Mustang steering wheel sits next to Ford's latest version of its Sync 2 infotainment system. So does the new Ford Mustang position itself as a proper muscle car? You bet it does. You can have a lot of fun, you can grab it by the scruff of the neck and you can drive it the way you should be able to drive a muscle car. The fact there's a four cylinder model will keep more buyers happy and it means there's something for everyone. It's a really, really good interpretation of a legendary muscle car and I can't wait for the Car Advice team to sink their teeth into this one. <laughs>